Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Apple has officially released iOS 14 Developer Beta 2 alongside watchOS and iPadOS Developer Beta 2 as well. So iPadOS 14 Developer Beta 2 was released by Apple today and watchOS 7 Developer Beta 2 is out as well. Now, if you would like for me to cover this additional software for the iPad and the Apple Watch, let me know in the comments down below and I'll cover those for you guys in additional videos as well. Now, if you've been follow me here on the channel i've been talking about expected release dates now apple usually takes about two to three weeks to release a new beta when it's a major software update this time it took apple two weeks and one day the first beta was released on june 22nd and the second beta today of course on a july the 7th so that is two weeks and one day after releasing beta one apple releases beta two now i was expecting this beta either this week or next week i was leaning towards the 13th but apple released it a week earlier which is of course a great thing this means more betas apple is working a little quicker we can anticipate maybe four even five additional betas and a gold master copy before this ios 14 hits everyone worldwide with the release of the new iphones later in september now Public beta testers, you haven't seen a beta as of yet. You can expect it in the next couple of days. Maybe by the time you watch this video, public beta one would be out, but expect it any time now. I'm leaning towards the week of the 13th for developer or public beta one to be released to developers in the public beta testing program. Now, iOS 14 developer beta 2 comes in at 840 megabytes, give or take. If you're updating from beta 1, depends on your device, of course. And if we head on over to settings, the latest build number here is 18A5319. I. That's going to be the latest bill number for iOS 14. Of course, let's take a look at some of the latest changes within the latest beta. I have this iPhone here running beta 1 just for reference so we can see the difference in software. And let's start with some of the UI changes. First up, the calendar application is new in iOS 14 beta 2. We see there that Tuesday is abbreviated and the number there, the 7, is slightly darker. Taking a look here in comparison to beta 1, we have the entire day there it says tuesday and the font is slightly thinner and lighter over here in beta 2 slightly darker a little thicker and it's abbreviated instead of the entire day written out now there's also a new widget available in beta 2 and that is the files widget there it is so a lot of you guys are hoping for a clocks widget apple has yet to add that one but we do get a new widget for the files application so comparing here to beta 1 comparison to beta 2 let's take a look here we see that we now have the new files widget which is available for beta 2 there it is it wasn't available before it is available now again beta 2 is here on the left now there's also minor changes here as well within the ui so if we head on over to the widget panel here we see that the actual add widget text here sort of matches the color of the widget unlike beta 1 but i kind of prefer the beta 1 style let me know which one you prefer you can see their text is slightly different there as well so let's head on over to the photos here and continue showing you some of the latest changes now apple of course has a lot of artificial intelligence built into ios and with that we see a lot of siri suggestions now this is spotlight search here so spotlight will give you suggestion based on what it is that it thinks you want to do when you go to Spotlight. However, now, if you see a suggestion in Spotlight that isn't something that's relevant to what you're looking for, you can actually thumb it down and the software would learn in the future what to suggest based on what you like and dislike in, in terms of suggestions here in Spotlight. Now, this is here, right here, you can 3D touch and click down or up if you like it or if you don't like it on your suggestions for series so this will help the entire os just feel a lot smarter for you now we also have some minor changes within the family sharing icon so if you head on over to settings here we go to icloud we see that we have slightly different icon there for family sharing beta one there it is beta two there it is so slightly different family sharing icon in a beta two as well now the new incoming call ui for the iphone in ios 14 now also has a different look as well so if we head on over to settings here that is the extension that i'm talking about the phone extension here you now have all of your categories on the top here you have your notifications your incoming call banner or full screen options that you can choose from announce calls and then you have your phone number and additional settings this has been organized and of course the incoming call ui which is now a banner up at the top which is 
is something that a lot of users really wanted. It's something new here in beta one and beta two as well, but different settings there available so you can further change it directly within the phone extension. Now I'll continue digging around the software. There's a lot of enhancements and improvements. This was just a quick overall view of some of the new changes that I've come across over the past hour or so of using the software. Stay tuned for my follow-up. Thank you for watching and I'll see you real soon. Peace.